Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna share with you on how I curl my hair. It's my number one asked question on how do you curl your hair? How do you get your curls to look like that? And today I'm gonna share with you exactly how I do it. All right, so I start by brushing my hair. All the tangles out. Next what I do is I divide my hair in the middle like that and I divide it into two sections. I take my curling iron. This is a Hot Tools curling iron. It's a one and a half inch barrel. You can use a one inch barrel. I've used a one inch barrel for years and years and it was Hot Tools as well. And I switched to a one and a half inch about a year ago because I wanted more of a looser curl and a one and a half inch does that. So I start by taking a section of my hair pointing the barrel down, the nose down, wrapping it around, and giving it about 15 seconds. Just heating up like that. And what I do is then I release it, let it cool off in the palm of my hand. Same thing, wrap it around the barrel, hold the ends, let go of a little clamp, and give it about 15 seconds. Again, let it cool off in the palm of your hand. And then you're gonna twist as you come down. Like that. Okay, so now moving on to the other side. Same thing, I start in the front, grab a section, and you're gonna point the barrel down and you're wrapping the barrel around. You're wrapping the hair around the barrel, I should say. <laughs> going to be the same thing. You're going to release it and let it pull off in the palm of your hand. And then you're going to twist it as you come down.
baby curl. You can. And now comes my favorite part, and you're gonna shake your curls. It only loosens the curls, but it also gives your hair some volume. And at this point, you can like spray with hair or texture spray or hairspray, but I usually don't. I like it when the curls just wear down on their own. And then you can kind of do that. Just use your fingers to separate. And if you see any pieces that need to be curled, you just do that. Sometimes on top I'll add a few more just to give it a little more volume. And that's how I do my everyday curls. Oh, one more thing, please like and subscribe in this video so I can make more DIY videos for you.